So the next one which we see is the rule relating to division by 3. So I'll take two set of numbers here. One which are multiple of 3, say 3, 9, 15, 18, 21. And then I will take numbers which are one more than these numbers. 4, 10, 16, 19 and 22. Now, for the rule or the matter relating to division by 3, what one has to do is one has to do a sum of these digits. So the sum of 3, it will be basically 0 and 3 which is 3, 0 and 9 which is 9, 1 and 5 is 6, 8 plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 1 is 3. So what you do is basically to check if a number is divisible by 3 or not, you do a sum of these two numbers. Now I suppose this was say for example 321, you would have added all these three numbers and it would have given you a number of 6. If the sum of these digits, which is this number, is divisible by 3. 3 is divisible by 3? Yes, 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 yes. So in such a case, even this number will be divisible by 3. Let us check. Say for example, I take 321. Now 3, 1s are 3. This goes in. 2, 2 cannot be divided, so I put in 0. I borrow 1 here. 3, 7s are 21. Which proves the hypothesis that where the sum of the number, of the digits of the number, is divisible by 3, then in that case, the number itself is also divisible by 3. Now, similarly, if you are able to do this here, 1, 7, 10, 4. Now, are these numbers divisible by 3? The answer is no, none of them is. And therefore, none of these numbers will be divisible by 3. So the rule for division by 3 is if sum of all digits, which is the numerals, of a number are divisible by 3, the number itself is also divisible by So this is the rule insofar as division by 3 is concerned. Okay, so the next one is division by 4. For division by 4, suppose let us take some numbers, say 68, 2, 40, 9, 80, For division by 4, the rule is that in case the last two digits, the one at the unit place and at the tens place, if the last two of these digits, which is 68, 40 and 84, are divisible by 4, if last two digits are divisible by 4, the number is also divisible by 4. So now 68, 4, 1, sorry, 1, 28, 7, 28. Now because 68 is itself divisible by 4, therefore I mean, here there is no other option actually. But if suppose this was 268, then the assumption would have been that even 268 is divisible by 4. Similarly here, four, 10 times 4 is 40. Therefore, 240 is also divisible by 4. Here, 21 times 4 is equal to 84. Therefore, even 984 will be divisible by 4. 
Okay, I'll show this to you through an example. Let's see. Nine eighty four two eight one eight four times you get sixteen twenty four. You put in six, you get twenty four, and therefore nine eighty four is divisible. But if you had nine eighty seven, now eighty seven is not divisible by four. Let's see eighty seven. If I try it from four, two times eight, seven one time four, three is the remainder. 3 is not divisible by 4 therefore even 987 will not be divisible by 4 let's try this out 2 8 1 8 4 times 16 27 then again 6 times 24 and the remainder comes as 3 so basically the rule is that if the last of these two digits the one at the units place and the tens place are divisible by 4 if these two taken together are divisible by 4, then the number itself is also divisible by 4. If it is not divisible, then the number will also not be divisible by 4. So now which one is the next? Should we take 6? Okay. Let's take the rule for division by 6. Okay, 6 fives are 30, 6 nines are 54, these are divisible, 27 and 81. Now, for 6, and you have to kind of remember this, this number is actually divisible by 6 because I've taken it as a multiple of 6. 6 times, 5 times 6 is 30. Is this number divisible by 2? The answer is yes. 15 times 2 is 30. Is this number divisible by 3? Now, basically if you see, the factor of 6 are 1, 2 and 3. And 6, of course. Now, so therefore what we see is that if a number is divisible by 2 and 3, both, then it is also divisible by 6. It has to be both. Say for example 27. We know 3 times 9 is 27. But 27 divided by cannot be divided by 2. No. There is a remainder which comes in. So it has to be actually both the numbers. If even one of them is not able to divide a particular number, then that number will never be divisible by 6. So the thumb rule is any number which is divisible by both 2 and 3 is also divisible by 6. Now the next one that we take is division by 8. Now just like in case of 4 we took the last two digits in case of 8, the rule is that a number with 4 or more digits, up to 3 digits, you might just have to check it out yourself. But a number with 4 or more digits is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last 3 digits, suppose you have, uh, let's say 4, 8, 6, 4. Now this number will be divisible by 4 if the last 3 digit, the number formed by the last 3 digit and that is 864 is divisible by 8. These things will come in handy when suppose if you had instead of 4, 8, 6, 4 which is still manageable, you had 2, 8, 6, 8, 4. This was the number. And you were asked to say whether this is divisible by 4 or not. Then it becomes handy to divide these three numbers, the last three numbers, to check if these are divisible by 8. So here 8, 
6, 0, it's not divisible for, and 8 times 8 is 64. Since the remainder is 0, this number is divisible by 8. And therefore, what comes from here is that this entire bigger number itself should be divisible by 4. So what's the rule? The rule is that if in a number containing 4 or more digits, number formed from last 3 digits is divisible by 4, number sorry, I'm sorry, this is not 4, this is 8. Is divisible by 8. So this is the rule insofar as division by 8 is concerned. 